everybody what are you saying today we got another cheeky video on we're gonna do two but i'm gonna split it into two videos because one i don't want to drag them out into 15 20 minute videos i just want to do like a nice 10 minute video that you lot can watch and then wait for the next one so this is the first one that we're gonna do uh firstly that's plaster by the way so it's not bird poo we're gonna get some diffuser fins i know that the uh bumpers a bit uh, the paint has actually peeled off it but oh well race car we're just gonna wing it and i'm just gonna put the fins on and show you like how to put the fins on and obviously if you're watching this again the second one is today's version is we're gonna tint the lights because i've had loads of people saying oh you should tint the lights so today's we're gonna sort the back out that out that out what do you think of the stickers do you think i should like just keep my two and just like get rid of that bit or or what what do you think i should do guys so today's plan is to sort this bad boy out so let's get to it. Lockwood here and we're gonna fit it in the in the rain. I haven't got a green coat like he has his sexy green coat but we're gonna go for it anyway so let's get to it. Right then so what we have got is what the whoever I purchased this off has actually made this for me. Thank you for your purchase. Two fins on middle so I'm guessing there must be different sizes and then you've got your outside ones. Uh, so we got middle and then like obviously your outside ones and then we've got screws but no one needs screws because we've got 3M tape so at least it's re reversible so if I do put these on I could just pull them off so uh, 3M tape's good to go so they ain't going to go anywhere so let's uh, open them up so it's just simple as that And then we've got uh, a couple more screws but obviously we're not going to need those because we have got that so don't need it so what we're going to do for this reason we're just going to unscrew all the screws and just make sure it's nice and flat and then we've got to cut it with a stanley knife so it's snug as a bug and then get the tape to line up with that so let's do it so basically because I'm at my nan and granddad's I've literally had to find like the oldest screwdriver this is probably made in like the 1800s so uh, it's the only thing they've got so let's just take all these babies out I should have to do it by hand no I can't I lied come up for me look looks like a big toe right so we did the same we've got all we've got four of these so we did the same with that one there and then those two over there so so literally this is where you're at so I've just put it on and then we're gonna get obviously the oldest scissors I could possibly find and they uh, just just trim it Like so. so for anyone who use that thing or oh, want fins but I'm not too sure how to do it e literally as easy as this so we'll reuse that one on this bad boy all lines up like a gem look at that for perfect fit so one piece does two happy days man happy days let's get that and then obviously they're the, they're the middle ones by the fins and then we've got those two so same again get another roll put it there cut it same again so we'll get to that when that's right then so let's uh wing it and give it a blast and see how we get on so let's turn this around this little puppy yeah so you can see my knee 
anyone want to contribute to a new pair of jeans I've lost uh, I've lost me bloody knee so really I should have trophy fitted these before I put this tape on but you think Does that look? It don't look too bad, does it? Don't look too bad at all. Happy days. Can you even see it from there? One sec. Right then, same again, everybody. We're gonna try and like mimic it, so literally. What's about there? To be honest. And push it right on so it gets a good stick. So we have a look here. Let's have a look. Not too bad. The only thing is you can see the tape just there. If you see where my finger is, that's the only thing I'd say. Doesn't look too bad to be fair. So. I don't know. I don't know actually. Let's put the edges on and then let's uh, see how it looks. Right then, now we'll go for one on the edge. So, just before here. Give it a good push so we can get some nice little seal. Literally, that should do the trick. Are we looking? Are we looking? It does look slightly more aggressive. I think the angle of the camera doesn't do it any favours. But uh, we'll get the other one on and see how it looks. So that is us. We were wrong. I'm going to try and move the car a bit further down so you can actually see because it's not doing it the greatest of uh, of looks really so you see what I mean uh, I don't know what do you think guys what do you think there we are guys what do you think personally I don't like them I'll be honest with you I think they look crap they don't even look like the flow with the with the car they look absolutely crap uh, I don't know what it is, but I don't know. Just I think they look naff. Let me know in the comments below, guys. What do you think? What do you think of these? So what we're doing now, we're just going to tint the lights. So I'm just going to show you how to set them out. So obviously your car won't be as dirty as that, but that's what you got. This is just a little screw thing. Spin that. That pops out. And then, I don't know if you can see, see the white things there? That one there. And there is another one there. All you do is just spin them like so. Just spin it like that. Do the same. This one's exactly the same, so lift that up. And there's one hiding there. And there's one just at the back there. And just undo them. And I'll show you pulling them out. So it's literally just them, they basically screw on the end and you just spin them and then it pops out so we'll do the same on the other side and then remove it. Well then, so we are pretty much good to pull out so there is little there is little clips that like are kind of sat behind it so if you just give it a little, a little tug it will definitely come out. Just uh, be gentle. At the same time there we go, see? See the little clips just there? You just gotta watch it because they will snap. And obviously, just get your cable, just literally pull the pin and it pops straight out. And then, same with the other side. There you go, one out, job done. Turn it around. 
because it's raining. Ah. So let's get them inside. So what the plan is, we're going to clean them off so there's no dirt or anything on them. And then we are going to come over here, grab the smoke tint, and then we're going to tint these babies. It does say a coat every 15 minutes, but because it's me, every five minutes we're going to blast the coat. So I'll probably go for like three coats and then I've got my lacquer as well. So let's do it. I'm gonna do it in here as well. I'm gonna put a box over here and then do them in here. So let's do it. There we go. Beautiful. Nice and clean now. Look at the state of that. Filthy. So let these dry and then let's apply the tint. So that's it. I'm a bit disappointed with them little diffuser fins. Firstly, they cost me 40 quid. And I thought they were just literally like some of them them in the shed out of plastic, so uh, they are no good. That's what I mean. If I get use anything and I don't like it, then I'll tell you personally, I wouldn't bother. If you can get a diffuser for like 150, then I'd rather put the extra like 110 pound and get a proper one because that just looks like you've just bodged it yourself. Which obviously, if you want your car to look cheap and crap, then that's good, but. I know my cars are nail at the moment, but I'm obviously looking to get it to that point where it's going to look really nice, hopefully anyway, so that's where we started with the tints now. I've took them fins off because I don't like them. If anyone wants them, yeah, drop me a message and I'll send them to you, but I just didn't fancy them to be honest, so just drop me a comment down below or message me on Instagram and uh, I'll send you, a, send you a set. Uh, so yeah, these are drawing now. Let's get the can up and let's spray them. So what we're going to do firstly, we're going to put one coat on a thin layer. Um, we're probably going to leave it five or ten minutes and then we'll go with another. I'm going to go with probably three or four coats, obviously depending on how dark it gets. I don't want it too dark, I just want a nice little tint on there so you know it's done. Uh, and then uh, we'll see how we get on. So ready for layer one, let's do it. Right then, so let's get to it. There you go, as you can probably see, let's give a nice little tint on them. So we're gonna leave it like 15, 20 minutes and then we're gonna uh, add the next coat. So let's do it. Right then, so uh, change of plan. We're back at my house in the uh, in the garage. Uh, just saying, these Kinder Hippos are like the best thing since sliced bread. Uh, absolutely puck up, you don't know. Get yourself to the shop and get some of these. Anything, just think I must say, yeah. If anyone's planning on modding a car, and it's like not fitting apart, it's like really fidgety. Make sure you give yourself loads of time because if you rush, you'll make it look shit like I have. So all I'm saying is don't rush anything, just go with the flow, take your time and get it done. So I'm gonna take these tail lights off again and do them properly because they've like reacted with like something. So I'm gonna proper deep clean them now, let them dry, and then I'm gonna go through it. So what I'll do is switch over now and I'll show you how crap they look. So let's do it. Right then, so here's the Here's the tailgate. See, it doesn't actually look too bad here, but when you get all close, it's got like marks in it and stuff, which we don't want that. And see on the top, I don't know if it's picking it up on camera, but there's like little hazy bits on it where it looks like a wet cloth has gone on it. See, just pick up there, a bit more here. See there, see, that looks crap, so we're not having that. So. I'm going to take it off and do it properly. That was only one coat of tin, and look how nice that looks already. Looks loads better, so let's take them off and do them properly. So right then, what the plan is properly, I'm going to clean these off properly. 
we are going to get them dried so they can dry out and get a hair dry. I don't want to get a cloth on them like I did just. Make sure they're nice and dry. Then we're going to warm that up so it's between the operating temperature which is like 15, 20 degrees. Shake it like mad. And then we're going to do this properly. So let's do it. Right then, so they're all cleaned up now. Boom. Look at them, man. Oi. Absolutely sick. They're going to look bad when they're dry. And then obviously I've got my coat clear coat. Sick man. So basically today's video was an absolute fail. The uh, lights have gone all cloudy again. So they look absolutely hideous. Uh, and the fins didn't actually go on. Um, this, is, this is the the problem of being like a DIY car doer. Stuff goes wrong. Um, the fins didn't really like them, I thought they looked tacky and the lights, they've just gone all light funny again. Comment down below if anyone knows where the lights have gone like that, um, I'm unsure. To be fair I might just get some uh, white spirit to clean them off and just get some DNA lights. I don't know, what do you reckon? DNA lights, if I get 100 lights I might consider buying some. But I'll show you the lights now because they look hideous. So let's do it. I know, you probably can't see too well, I put the light on. Look at that, they look, it's like they've done it again. Same here, look. I can't put that on my car. I won't put that on my car because it looks terrible, so if anyone... Hold on a second. So if anyone knows why that's done that, comment down below, let me know. Um, Still struggling, trying to get through it. So uh, hopefully, videos can uh, come fun and fast after Christmas. But hopefully, I've got a hybrid turbo to video tomorrow. So keep peeled because that should be coming uh, real soon. So thanks for watching. Today's been a fail, but you're brilliant as usual. So cheers.